Hello, everyone. All right, I'm going to continue on with the Leica DM500 training video on how to acquire images and set up a general um, fluorescence image. Okay, folks, I'm going to try to give you a little heads up on how to use fluorescence on the Leica for the corn sample. Okay, the corn sample is in this slide, and um, you're going to be using the corn sample also on the Olympuses, but this one will show you a little bit of color and you'll get to take the actual color fluorescence here without needing to use image J. So switch over to the software and I'm already using the red channel here, green excitation, red emission, and I've got about 500 milliseconds of absorbance time. If you want to actually type in numbers, sometimes it's quicker. So let's say I wanted to go up to 550, you just type in 550 for exposure. Everything, the gain's at one, and the gamma's at one, and the histogram is wide open. You get to the histogram by clicking on this thing. Okay. Um, if we go over to the Explorer, I would need to change this. Okay. I've already had some. Um, I'm actually did some of these corn samples earlier, but. Um, or these are some examples, but I'm gonna go back to the preview. I'm gonna type in corn 40X objective, and I'm now on green excitation, and I'm gonna do uh, sample two because I've already done a sample, okay? So this is the name it's gonna give it when I take the picture. Okay, and um, but we're not there yet. Go back to acquisition, because uh, we're on preview, which would be down here. And eventually I'll just do capture image or single image. They're the same. Okay, here's it. So it's a little bit dim as you can see. So first thing you can do is try the exposure, but you don't want to go up to a full second because then it takes forever to take a photo and it can get a little blurry when you're uh, trying to actually take the photo because things jiggle it like you. So I'll go back to about 500 milliseconds and then you can make the gains go up to two. That'll give a little bit. The more gain you add, the more grainy it gets. So if I go up to three, it's a little better, but it starts getting a little grainy. I can drag this down and that'll brighten it up a little. You can also move this up or down and this, you do the scroll wheel. See, this is bending, so this is the gamma. You can make it bend down, and that tends to darken it. I'll go with the gamma below one. And this is just how much emphasis it's giving on the different channels. You can see it starts getting grainier, though, right? The more I change this. So we'll go back up to maybe 0.9. Probably could focus a little. So when you have the camera set at half of a second, it's a little delay between touching the fine focus and the actual focus. So I get in here and I get a picture and that's about right, right there. About as good as we're going to get. Okay, and then I would take the single image, boom. And say, yes, I'm at 40X. Just as an example, if I go back to 10X, this is what we get. Oh, we need a preview, go back to live. And so this is 10X, oh, 10X comes up pretty good. You can do some 10Xs. And then what is 4X? So yeah, you can do all of these with red. Let me go to UV, UV doesn't work so well on this one, that's the middle. So you can sort of ignore UV. I go to blue excitation. Ooh, that's pretty dim. I don't know if we can do it, let's crank this up. I don't know if we're going to, be able to get much blue. So it's pretty dim. It's dim on the Olympus too. So now we're already at 1.35 seconds, which means you can't touch anything. You can't move, don't breathe on the sample. And um, it's just not very bright at all. But you can take a picture of it. Let's see, can I do any better? Go down here. Just starts the background is just getting crazy. So you can see little ones. But the 
green excitation, red absorbance really works the best for the corn. Okay. Um, and if I took a single image here, make sure you go back to Explorer and change your name. You could always go in and change the name manually if you want. Let's see, is it? I was adding O1s and O2s at the end anyway. So um, if you keep taking the same picture, it'll add one and two, and it'll just add another um, number to it. So this is all going in Bioscience 102, Fall 21, and I made my own folder. And let's see, what else can we do? So that's pretty much it for the corn on fluorescence. So take a bright field and fluorescence. A bright field be in the middle here. And then turn off the fluorescence and remove the thing, little cap. And it's way too bright, isn't it? So make it all back to one. Put this back here. Maybe even less. Oh, yeah. Let's try to change it. There we go. Still too bright. Down and down and down we go. There we go. That's getting pretty good. Sample up a little. Oh, there's a little smudge right there. See the smudge? Hmm. Maybe that's on the camera or something, but a little smudgy. Well, okay. Nice histogram here with nice lines. It's all good. For the bright field, you use the full histogram and then you can go up to the next one and um, change the histogram a little, brighten that up. And then up to 40x. Need even more help. Also, the, the exposure is way low. You definitely go higher here. Crank this all the way up. Just change the exposure. Well, that'll be your task. Moving around the exposure, the gain, and the histogram, and the gamma, um, trying to get pictures and all the various corn samples. There you go.